tow truck drivers across our area are coming together to pay tribute to one of their own. 24 year old Colin Schaefer died last week after a tragic accident in Wyoming County. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Choates live for us in the control center to show us how he's being remembered. Kelly. Good evening, Nick and Candace. His family members say Colin had a contagious smile and he was passionate about anything on wheels. That's why his colleagues want to do something special for Colin. In this story, you can only see right here on Eyewitness News. For the short amount of time that he was with us, he made a humongous impact here. Victor Vega, the co-owner of VPR Motors, is talking about one of his tow truck drivers, Colin Schaefer. The Lake Winola man only worked there for a couple of months, but Victor told me it didn't take long for him to realize that Colin loved his job and his truck, nicknamed the Green Goblin. When I see him in the morning getting in his truck, he had this goofy smirk and smile on his face, and that's what I miss about it the most. Colin passed away Friday after what his family members are calling a freak accident. He was just 24 years old. State police say it happened here, along White's Ferry Road in Overfield Township. According to troopers, Colin's wrecker was stuck in a field, so he attached a cable to a telephone pole across the street. That's when another driver hit that cable, causing it to snap and hit Colin. He was taken to Geisinger Community Medical Center in Scranton, where he later died. It's hard to, to, to know what to feel because it's, it's just so surreal. Now Victor is paying tribute to his friend the best way he knows how. He loved trucks, so I figured the best thing that we can do is give him some trucks. This tow truck will join dozens of others on the way to Collins' celebration of life ceremony at the Triton Hose Company Wednesday night. Victor says he made a promise to Collins loved ones that the wreckers would light up the night for his final ride. Just to show the brotherhood of the towing community because it really is. Um, the towing community can be competitive, can be cutthroat, um, but when one of us goes down, it hurts everyone. Victor told me the response from fellow truck drivers has been overwhelming, and he has received condolences from people all over the world. Live in the Control Center tonight, Kelly Cho, Eyewitness News. Kelly, thank you. And the drivers are meeting at Ace Robbins in Tunkhannock tomorrow at 5 o'clock before Colin's celebration of life at 6.